Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be looking at how you can replace one colour with another. Now you might uh, already be aware of the uh, options under Edit, Select Same, where you can select the same object to the same fill and stroke or fill colour or stroke colour etc. as a selected object. So let's look at uh, this first object and if we go to Edit select same fill, uh, fill and stroke there's nothing the same so nothing else is selected if we go to edit select same fill color you can see that uh, this object here is selected because it's got red in it as well if I go back to this one if we go edit select same stroke color you can see everything with a black stroke is selected because the, the first sample object had a black stroke and what else if we go edit select same stroke style they're all the strokes are selected because they all have uh, one millimeter stroke so that must be based on the stroke width but uh, what about if you want to pick a sample say from this object we want to sample that object and we want to replace the anything that's uh, mauve or pink with another colour. Well, what we do is we can use an extension but we must know the codes for the colours that we want to find and the colours that we want to replace. So for example if we wanted to find all the red colour, if I click on that and go to the fill dialog and the fill and stroke you can see the first six letters of this. A bit hard to see to select but uh, oops if I I'll just click and try again I can just do the whole lot because this uh, last two aren't uh, used anyway I think that's to do with alpha or with transparency so if I go control C that's the red color now I'll just do a text box T for text control V and that's the code for red I might just put that uh, in there. I'll make the text white. Okay, now the code uh, for say pink, if I click on that, I can look at the code in here. Control C, text box, Control V, that's the code for pink, so I'll put that, that here. Now let's say we wanted to replace uh, the uh, red with pink. Well, let's uh, double click that or T for text tool and copy that. Control C again. Then we'll go to our extensions, color, replace color. If we want to replace red, I'll paste that in there. And you can see down here if I want to replace it with pink, there's the code for pink. Uh, control C, if I control V, the last two letters aren't used. So what I've done is I'm using the red code in there, we'll replace red with the pink colour here and the codes match there. So if I click apply, nothing happens because I've got to select what I want to apply that to and that's another difference here with the edit, uh, select same you didn't have to select anything it would go and find uh, well you did have to select the initial object but you didn't have to select what you applied it to it would find them for you so let's select everything in here and we'll go extensions color back to replace and we'll replace the red color with the pink if I click apply and close you can see what's happened there the red colors in here have been replaced by pink but also the red stroke here was replaced by pink the red arrow is replaced by pink and I think this had a red boundary I control Z to check it's pink now yes and there it is so the red boundary so strokes and fills are replaced and that's one of the key differences with the ways under the edit menu there so using the color the extensions, colour, 
and replace colour, you replace the colour in fills and strokes. And that might, there might be times when you need to do that. As always, thanks for watching.